Hello guys! Spin Arbor event just started and all of you have the same question. Is it possible to plant 400 trees and get that SK chest without spending your money and your gems? Ok guys, traditionally I will start with missions. I will help you to complete them all and fast. After that I will calculate if it's possible to plant 100 trees without spending money or gems. If not, then let's find out how many gems you need to spend on golden watering cans and if it's worth to spend them. We have spring arbor event for 7 days, so to complete the first mission, just don't forget to log in every day for these 7 days. To complete the next mission, you have to play chapters. If you don't have enough time to play chapters, you don't really need to play them. You just need to press the start button and quit the chapter. And as you can see guys, it counts that you played a chapter. In the next mission, you have to open chests from daily challenges. Nothing hard here, just normally play your daily challenges and open chests. The same thing about the next mission. Use all your quick battles every day and you will complete it. The last mission will be impossible to complete for most players, because to complete it, you have to open 300 chests. So I hope that you saved many keys to open most chests. Ok guys, there are not many missions, only 5. Now let's calculate if it's possible to plant 100 trees. Or you will need to spend gems. And if so, is it really worth to spend them and how many you will need to spend. To grow up one tree, you need 100 water drops. But due to the fact that the only way to obtain water drops is from missions, you won't have problems with them. The problem is that golden watering can grow a tree on 30%, while normal watering can do it on 10%. Every day you can visit players 10 times and for each of them, when you water their trees, you get one golden watering can. So in total, 10 golden watering cans per day. As we have 7 days, you can get 70 golden watering cans for helping other players and one from spring sales. So 71 free golden cans in total. It will let you to grow up 21 trees. To grow up 79 trees, you need 7900 water drops if you use only normal watering cans. For example, on my second account I opened 50 chests and got 300 water drops for this. And besides that, I got 200 traps from some missions. Even if you open 300 chests, there's no way that you will plant 400 trees with free watering cans. I believe that it's possible to plant 50 trees without spending gems if you open around 100 chests, but there's no way that you will plant 100 trees. As you know, you can buy golden watering cans, one costs 200 gems, 10 watering cans, 2000 gems. But is it worth to buy them? After I used all golden watering cans and a few normal, I got 300 gems and other rewards I got, I cannot say they are really worth your gems. Don't buy them, you'll spend 2000 gems just to grow up 3 trees. So you'll need to spend over 20,000 gems to get that S chest. This amount of gems, if you have it of course, is better to spend on eternal crates. I have a new update unpacked and I found these pictures. We didn't have them in the previous version, so you will have 6 eternal crates like Void Waker crates, where you can choose what guaranteed eternal equipment you want after opening a certain amount of crates of course. So guys, I highly recommend you to save your gems and do not spend them on golden watering cans and wait for eternal crates.